I went to work on the weekends at a little department store in Harlan, and it just so happened that Ernie was working there also. When I first met him, I thought he was just the best looking guy I'd ever seen. We've been together 55 years. That's a long time, isn't it? Jan is uh, one of the most outgoing people I've ever met. She is a triple A salesperson. That's where a lot of the success of our candles came from. She was our chief salesperson at one of our stores. And when we first started the business, it would not have gone forward had she not been really pushing in sales. Our first store was here in Frankfurt on Louisville Road, and it was a, uh, just a big box building. Therefore, we called it the gift box. We sold gifts and antiques, and, and in fact, that was the first outlet for our candle business. I went to market, and at that time, there was this candle company that had just opened. I liked the way they smell, so I bought them and put them in the store, and they did really well. But I started getting a lot of them back because people would bring in their half-full jars and say, this candle doesn't smell anymore. We learned from people in the industry that the manufacturers would put fragrance only in the top part of the candle. I complained to Ernie one night that we were just not doing well with candles because we were having to refund so much. He looked and he said, gosh, two-thirds of our business is candles. So he said, why don't we just eliminate the middleman and start making them ourselves? My dad is very entrepreneurial. I came into the house with, with a candle that I had made, just trinkety stuff that I had been poking around with. And as soon as he saw it, he's like, hey, you want to go into business together? The very first candles we made, we sold them as fast as they could make them. People want a candle that they can smell six months after they buy it. Most candles only have like three to five percent scent in them. Candleberry has ten percent. The Candleberry Company tries to make the highest quality product possible. And so it's, it's not just the fragrance that is exceptional, because we buy the very best fragrances, but it's also the way that those candles are put together. The values of Candleberry for me are to be sure that you work as hard as you can to make the best product, never settle for what you think might be the best, because there's always improvement forevermore. To always be humble and to always give back when you receive as much as we have. We want the product to be reliable and consistent because we want our customers to come back. We want to grow the business so that it is there for the grandkids and for the great grandkids and that kind of thing. We don't want this to be a, a short-lived candle company and there are a lot of short-lived candle companies out there. There's a lot that have gone out of business just since we have been in business that I know of. Uh, large candle companies that have gone out of business. This is what our generations to come are going to live from. It's not just us. When you do have those kind of high stakes, it comes through to the customer. They understand how much you care. We take pride in the fact that it is family owned and most people know it's family owned and we don't want to hurt our reputation by not giving good service. And I think when you're dealing with larger companies, you're just a number. I think there's a lot of value to having a family owned company because that's something you can pass along to your kids, your grandkids. And you know, we've had a lot of friends who have needed jobs and it's nice to be able to help out a close friend or pass along to your granddaughter if they want to join the company. I, I couldn't have imagined years ago having a company like we have, having a family like we have, and doing the things that we do. For us, it's a dream every day to be able to do what we're doing and have fun doing it and help others.